Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to a denim slash jeans styling video. So one of you lovely lot actually recommended or suggested that I film a video on jeans styling and I thought, what a fantastic idea, I'm going to give that a go. So I have picked five pairs of my favourite jeans and I've styled them all differently for different uh, occasions, different ways to wear for different things. I do have a few other pairs of jeans and a few other bits of denim in my collection, in my wardrobe, but I just picked out my favourite pairs of jeans that I've always reached for, that I've worn for a very long time. I think all of them, bar one pair, are still available online even though I've had some of them for years. Everything that I'll show you guys today will be linked in the description box and I'll link the full outfits there as well. If you have any questions on sizing or anything just leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Time to start with pair number one. These are obviously a black pair of jeans. I love black denim. I've worn black jeans for a very very long time. They used to be all I'd ever wear because when I was younger I just found them a bit more slimming bit more comfortable, a bit more flattering on my body. So I have always been a fan. This pair is a really nice sort of tight fitting straight leg jean with a raw hem. They're slightly cropped as well and these are from Anina Bing. These are the only pair of jeans I've ever got from Anina Bing and the fit and the quality is amazing. They are obviously pricey, they are the most expensive pair in this video but they are such a good fit. I'm so impressed with them, I really love them, it's definitely inspired me to buy more jeans from Anina Bing. And I have worn and styled them in so many different ways. So I got them in a size 27, which I think is about a size 6. They fit like a size 6 anyway, I normally would take, depending on brand, a, a 6 or an 8. But yeah, I got these in a 27 waist, and I'm not sure what the length is, but like I said, I'm about 5 foot 4, 5 foot 4 and a half and these are slightly cropped on me, you'll be able to see in the cutaway how they look on. But you will see what I mean about the fit, they just look expensive, they look good quality, they're not ill-fitting, they're nice and tight in all the right places, but they're still a good length and very flattering, and I think comfortable and flattering are the two main things that I go for when I'm shopping for denim. So this look that I put together is a little kind of out for lunch style look. So we've obviously got the black denim, I thought I'd keep it nice and neutral and go for some grey on top. So I have my favourite long sleeved Adenola basic, you guys know I love this, it's such good quality, it's just a fab basic for this time of year because it's long sleeved, really nice and soft and I think grey and black go so nicely together. I thought I'd stick with the Anina Bing theme and go for my Anina Bing, I can't remember what it's called, just a grey sweatshirt anyway, over my shoulders. I think it kind of adds to the look really nicely. Keeps it nice and casual and then, accessories wise, again Anina Bing bag. I didn't even do this deliberately. I've just coincidentally picked out all my Anina Bing pieces. This is the mini Maya tote and it's such a cute little bag. And then we have my Adidas Spezzles, Specials, someone tell me how to pronounce these. I love these, they're still out of stock as I'm filming this video so hopefully they will come back into stock soon. If they do, I'll pop it on my Instagram first so you guys will be the first to know over there. This is the perfect kind of casual lunch outfit, it's something I would wear like for a Sunday roast, popping out to get a coffee, that kind of stuff, it's a great casual look. Pair of jeans number two, this is a pair that I've spoken about many a time on my YouTube channel before, if you've been a long term viewer you will probably recognise these and remember me talking about them, they are obviously a nice light wash blue denim and these are the weekday row jeans. I first bought these I think about two years ago and they are my favourite straight leg jeans. I actually have two pairs of them. I have this one which is a slightly more oversized baggy fit, you'll see that in the cutaway in a second. I got these in a waist 28 leg 32 so they do fit like a little bit looser. They're just like a more baggy oversized jean which is what I wanted when I ordered them but I have also got them in a size waist 26 leg 30 so a bit more of like a tight fitting straight leg jean I think it's kind of like a little bit of a smarter jean these like over, more oversized ones are a bit more casual so I have tried to smarten them up a bit with the outfit in the cutaway as you will see but these just fit 
so nicely. They're in shade Summer Blue, but they do come in loads of different shades as well, and I just love the fit of them. I think they work really, really nicely dressed down with a pair of my Sambas or a different kind of trainer, but they also work so nicely with a pair of heel boots. I wore these a couple of weekends ago when I was going out for a Sunday lunch, and I popped them with my black heeled boots, white t-shirt, black blazer, and it just was a very, very classic elevated look and I could not be without these jeans in my wardrobe. So paired with them for perhaps like a nice shopping day, I thought my long sleeved striped basic would work really, really well. This one's from Zara, got it in a size medium. Again, had it for a couple of years and it just goes so nicely with blue denim. Of course, finishing off the look with my black oversized blazer from Zara. This is an absolute staple and like I said works so well with the jeans. The outfit I described earlier with the t-shirt and the heeled boots went so nicely and it's a completely different look. So these two items can be kind of completely transformed as it is kind of a shopping look and we want to be comfortable. I've foregone the heels and gone for a nice pair of ballet flats. These are my new ones from Prada that I picked up in Bista Village and I am obsessed. I have been wearing these so much. When I first picked them up, I was a little bit hesitant on how much I would actually wear them because I didn't tend to reach for the H&M or Primark ballet flats that I've already got in my wardrobe too much. I did a little bit, but not loads. But since I bought these, I have been trying to think of different outfits to wear them with because I love to wear them so much. Every day I think, right, what's gonna go with those ballet flats so I can wear them. And you'd be surprised, so much does actually go with them. And then of course, just finished off the look with my YSL Sac Du Jour. Moving on to number three, we have another black pair of jeans. These ones are a little bit more washed out. They've got a bit more of like gray tones to them. Uh, these ones are from Zara. I never used to buy jeans from Zara um, until a few years ago. I was Topshop jeans through and through. But I recently, in the last probably year or so, tried Zara jeans again. And finally, they seem to have fit me. I don't know whether my body shape changed slightly or whether Zara changed their sizing, but a size eight seems to work perfectly for me now from Zara, which is great because I love their jeans, particularly these ones. Last, last year, or maybe the beginning of this year, I picked up a pair of black wide leg Zara jeans and I really do like them, but they just don't graze the floor as nicely as these ones do. These ones are that bit longer, so they look so nice with heels. They're kind of like, they wide leg. Yeah, they slightly go out at the bottom, but the way that they fall on the floor when you're wearing heels, I think just looks so chic. You'll see it in the cutaway with the outfit I've paired with them. But I love these jeans. I have worn them with flat sandals. I've worn them with my ballet flats. I've worn them with my specials. I've worn them with heels. They're such a versatile pair of jeans and they're great to dress up and down. I thought I'd try and go for a, like a smart casual office look for this outfit. I know if you work in a corporate or a strict office then you probably wouldn't be able to wear jeans. But in case you do, in case you have like a smart casual office, when you are allowed to wear denim or you just want a smart casual look perhaps for like a meeting or something then I love this look so I've got my white cos t-shirt I don't need to talk about these t-shirts again you guys know how much I love them the best quality t-shirts ever I wear mine in a size small and then as it's autumn we've got out the wool blazer again this one is from Source Unknown it's this beautiful like beige camel colour, super oversized, and I just love all these three tones together. A really nice neutral outfit. I love the oversized baggy jeans, paired with the t-shirt and then the oversized blazer. And then on the bottom, I thought I'd go for something a little bit more elegant. So we've gone for my pointed stiletto boots from Mango. And like I said before, the heel just works so nicely with these jeans. I love that combination. And to finish it off, one of my favorite bags at the moment, the Demelia London bag. Now, once again, I do have a sort of semi wide leg jean. Well, actually these are definitely a wide leg jean. Again, from Zara, these ones are a few years old and they don't have the exact ones online anymore but they do have some very similar ones so i will leave them linked down below but they're a really nice light blue denim nice and tight around the waist and they go into a really wide leg with a raw hem i have worn these jeans to death i used to only wear them with heels but recently i've really loved the way they look kind of dragging on the floor a bit with flats or trainers i know that's not practical but you guys know me, I love a long trouser and I love a long jean and I feel like that works quite nicely. Again, size eight, but these are so handy. 
you can wear them during the day but if you're not a fan of that again with a pair of heels for the evening these look perfect so i have styled them for kind of more of a date night look so we have got my black waistcoat from zara this is a halter neck one so it's completely got the back out so it's really nice for evenings it's just a little bit more dressy i got this in a size extra small i think it's still available online and then for a little bit of extra glam i've whacked out these slingback heels and i got these last winter and wore them to death and obviously they're not a very summery shoe so i haven't worn them for a few months but i whacked these out again the other day and i forgot how much i love them they're so comfortable and they just kind of jazz up the look a little bit and obviously you can just see the diamantes peeking out the bottom of the jeans which i think is such a nice touch and then because it's an evening outfit a nice black leather pouch and also i have just draped my back blazer over my shoulders as well because it is probably a little bit too chilly now to be going out without a jacket. And the fifth and final pair of jeans, again from Zara. So three pairs from Zara, four pairs from Zara, three pairs from Zara in this video. So I must really be liking their jeans at the moment, but these are another blue denim straight leg pair. These are slightly different though to the weekday ones. They're a bit more fitted and they obviously have a raw hem. I would say these fit most similarly to the Anina Bing ones, just a little bit more loose, especially around the top part here. They've just got a little bit more give in them, but it's such a nice style. I love this straight leg style. I think these are supposed to be cropped. It does say in the description on the website that these are cropped. They're not really cropped on me. I mean, if you did want them cropped, you could obviously just cut the raw hem a little bit further take an inch or something off if you wanted to but I really like the way that these look I love the length of them I think it's a bit more flattering I haven't got the longest legs in the world so making them cropped probably wouldn't do me too many favors but again size eight and a lovely color these do come in another color as well I think and I think the black ones from Zara the wider legged baggy ones, I think they come in other colours as well, but because these are such a nice staple, classic jean, nice and comfy, I thought I'd style them for a bit more of a relaxed, kind of cosy, perhaps running errands, grabbing a coffee style look. So I've picked up my favourite jumper. You know how much I love this, expect to see it a lot this season. Beautiful one from Arquette, super soft, it's the alpaca wool, so it's, oh, it's just so cosy. And the most gorgeous colour as well, it's a really nice oversized fit. I think this was a size small, is a size small, so it's really nice and loose. And I just love the way that this colour looks with blue denim. I've continued the kind of beige theme throughout the rest of this outfit. And I just had to get out this Arquette jacket. I purchased this last year again around a similar time. I think as I got the jumper and I've worn the two together extensively I love the way that these pieces work together they're obviously not the same color but I just think the combination is so nice and again this color works great with blue denim and finally to finish off this look I had to whack out the Uggs I love the ultra mini Uggs I had them in chestnut last year and I managed to pick up this style which I believe is the colour antelope. I wanted it for a very long time last year and they never came back in stock. So I got these back in July and yeah, I'm obsessed with them. I'm so excited to be able to properly start wearing them and they just really give that cosy look to this outfit. And finally, the perfect bag to pair with it all. This is a gorgeous little like mini baguette bag from Katie Loxton and the colours just work so nicely. It all matches perfectly. So there we have it. That was five looks with five different pairs of jeans. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Do let me know in the comments which one was your favourite. And if you do have any other video requests for me, let me know and I'll add them to my list. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, it would be amazing if you could give it a like. And if you're new to my channel, I would love it if you could subscribe and I will see you all very soon in my next video. Bye.